Hey there folks, so let's say that you just registered your awesome new domain name and set up your entire new hosting package and after you did that you went ahead and installed WordPress just like your instructions told you to. And after you installed WordPress you tried to click on your login link because you wanted to go and start building your new website. Well, what might happen is that you get your login page to WordPress just like this, which is perfect. But what might happen instead is that you get an error message, either from your local internet service provider, or maybe from HostGator, or another host that you're using. If the latter is the case, you might be wondering, did you do anything wrong? What's happening? And how can you fix it? These are some of the most common questions I get every day and I made this video to help you reach your WordPress login page as quick as possible. The first answer is no, you didn't do anything wrong. As long as you followed the directions, paid for your hosting package, and installed WordPress to 100%. The second answer is what's going on is something called propagation. Propagation is the projected length of time it takes for root name servers and cache records across the entire web to be updated with your website's new DNS information. In other words, what's going on is the web, or at least your local internet, is trying to pick up your website. Once it acknowledges that you're there, it's going to go ahead and tell the rest of the web that, hey, this domain name is linked with this website, so go ahead and start showing it when anyone types it into their browser. Because this time period is projected, it can actually take anywhere from five minutes to, at the most, about four hours, assuming that you got your domain name at the same place you got your hosting. In simple terms, that means they're in the same place online and it just makes everything a bit easier to set up. Now on the other hand, if you already owned your domain name before you set up hosting, or if your domain name exists in a different location, like maybe at GoDaddy, then you're going to need to do a step called setting your name servers. Setting your name servers can be confusing, and you're going to need to do it before you can start seeing your website, before anyone else can start seeing it, and even before you can start editing it. To set your name servers, and in other words, to change them, which you'll need to do, you'll have to find your HostGator account info email, or whatever email your host sent you when you first signed up. In that email, you'll have two name servers found right here. Once you have your name servers, you'll want to sign in to GoDaddy or wherever else you registered your domain name. Once you're in your account, you'll want to open up the domain section. In GoDaddy, we can just click Launch. Go ahead and find the domain name that you're dealing with and click on it. Once you're viewing the awesome new domain name for your website, scroll down to the section called Name Servers and click on Manage. Now you can enter custom name servers, which is exactly what we want to do. Just click on custom, and then click on enter custom name servers. Now you'll want to put in those two name servers from the email that HostGator or your new web host sent you, right in these two blanks right here. Enter the first one at the top, and the second one right below it, and then click on OK. Once you've done that, you'll need to save the changes by clicking save. At this point, it can take up to 72 hours for the entire web to update the records for your new website so that you can start viewing your site on your domain name, and so that other people can start viewing it, and so that you can log in and start making changes. Honestly, it won't take 72 hours, that's just the limit that they give us online. I hope this helped you understand a few reasons why your new WordPress website or blog isn't working right away or why you're seeing an error page instead of your website login like this. If you have any more questions, just post a comment and I'll try to help out as best as I can.